Hi, my bookish stars, and welcome back to another book video. So in this video, y'all, we're going to be talking about 10 books that I want to read before the end of 2024. So if you would like to see this video, stay tuned. But first, if you would like to be a part of my creative team, click on that red subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you will not miss any of my uploads. Comment below because I love to hear from you and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Y'all, let's go. So y'all, I wanted to, um, come on and talk about the 10 books that I want to read before the end of 2024. I've seen this video all over YouTube, so I want to go ahead and do my video. Now, for the last couple of weeks, y'all, I'm going to tell you, I have not been reading books. Like, oh, yeah, I just really wasn't like i can't say i wasn't in the mood but i was so busy in my business that i really was so exhausted this week i just started reading so i did read my first book which was a part of my 10 for 10 but um and i'm on my second book right now and y'all i'm gonna show y'all that book because it's a part of my 10 by 10 by by 2024 i can't say it right but anyway so I know last week I showed y'all my haul and that's what the haul, I, I showed y'all the books that I want to read, my Christmas books. Those are my Christmas books and yes, I'm going to read those Christmas books, but I want to show the 10 books. I like series, so, um, and these books were already on my shelf and I want to go ahead and get into it. So let's um, go ahead and let me dive into all the books that I want to read. There are 10. So I think it was called like 10 to the end. 10 to the end of 2024. So let's dive into it. Okay, y'all. So the very first book that I already read in my 10 to the end of 2024 books was I Think I Might Love You by Christina C. Jones. And this is a very spicy book. So if you like spice, this is your book. Um, I really did enjoy this book. It was about Jacqueline and um, Kaden. And I really love the fact that um, Jacqueline was like a magnet for trouble y'all like she always got in trouble for some reason but the last time she got in trouble um really taught her a lesson like she needed to get her act together i mean she was a business owner already but she still needed to get her act together so she had to do like 400 hours of community service because that's what the um the judge told her that she had to do and so she was doing her um hours with Jaden and not Jaden I'm sorry yeah Kaden is his name so this was a really good book I really enjoyed I love um Christina C. Jones book I read a series before by her so I have a series that I want to finish also um with uh, this author. So the other two books that I want to read, um, I think I might need you by her and I think I might want you. So I think, um, this is dealing with the love sisters. So this was book one. I think I might love you. Book two is I think I might need you. And this is about Joya love. And the thing about this book right um her primary interests right now are now how creative she can get with her video camera how much weight she can bench press in her social media brand a man doesn't even factor in in her top five so i think this book is going to be really good um especially not theodore the ex-boyfriend committed to becoming the next boyfriend teddy's charm and funny demeanor aren't limited to the videos he's funny prepared 
he's fully prepared to pull out all the stops to rekindle their college romance. So this is going to be um, a really good book. I think I might need you. Hmm. I see a pregnancy test on this. So, mm, so we'll see. The, so the next book, the third book in the series, I think I might want you is following the love sisters. And this is about Gemma. Gemma. So, um, you actually get to, um, see, um, the sisters in book one. So, which is good. Gemma love is behold holding to no one and wants nothing more to keep it from keep it that way she built a lifestyle around the things she enjoyed most traveling good food and good company she doesn't need anything else except levi so um levi throws a bit of a wrench in those plans he just might be the perfect complement to Gemma's way of life and he's definitely not shy about making his intentions clear so that's gonna be a good book so I know that she has a little spice in her book well a lot of spice in her book but doesn't bother me at all but I love um, reading Christina C Jones I think she's one of one of my favorite authors as well so yeah so the Wright brothers I think the Wright brothers was the last book series that I read of Christina C Jones so I want to go ahead and uh -huh. finish this series as well and as I stated I finished that book um, with Christina C. Jones the next book is a part of a series that I have started already and black girls must die exhausted y'all I'm telling you I read I'm on chapter two I'm like on page um, 36 so not too far into the book i started this book yesterday and so i read chapter one y'all and when i tell you it's so good and it comes a time where <laughs> i think i needed to read this book a black girl must die exhausted yes sometimes we get exhausted and and i just think that this is a really good i mean the very first chapter had me like hooked already um and it just talks about the courage that um, she has. And this is following Tabitha Walker. Um, it's a black woman with a plan to have it all. And she is on TV trying to get the um, prime time on her network. So um, as a newscaster. So, you know what? I love what all of this talks about. Um, she, in the first chapter, you get to know that she received some type of diagnosis of her, um, her body that kind of jeopardized her plans. So, she is dating someone right now, um, but I haven't gotten to him yet because if we haven't met him in she talks met him in the, the chapter one but she does talks about him but the encounter with the police officer was so well written i love that part i don't want to talk about too much because um but it was just so real and that's what I love when I read chapter one, like I can relate to what has been happening. So, Girl Must Die, Exhausted by um, Miss Jane Allen. So, Jane Allen is the author of the book, but I do want to read um, something to you um, with Black Girls Must Die. I just thought that it was really good. Um, she writes uh, a note to reader and it's this is a part that I just thought was good this book itself is my love letter to you to black women to women to all those who understand the beauty that comes through struggle and the and the benefit of doing their own work to heal to understand to grow and most importantly to love more fully y'all and I said, oh, definitely, I am going to read this book. Now, I also 
there's something on YouTube as well um, with her talking about the book and I'm going to listen to it um, as well because I want to know more about this author because I think this is the first book um, for me with Jane Allen. So the next book is, I think this is the next to the series is Black Girls Must Be Magic. So it's this book right here. So Black Girl Must Be Magic um, also follows Tabitha Walker. So in the very first book, and I think Black Girls Must Have It All. This one, I love the cover of this book. I really do. Oh my gosh, I love the cover. And also, it still follows Tabitha Walker. So I don't really want to read like the inside of it because I haven't finished book um one yet but y'all can follow along with me because i will be talking about each one of these books and also if you follow me on tiktok um i will be getting into talking about these books as well so we have black black girl must die exhausted black girl must be magic and black girl must have it all so those are the three other three and this is a series part of a series so that's six books already so the next one is also a series that I want to get into. Okay, so y'all, so Love Undercover, um, also by Nina. Hi. And so this one is following um, Drummond. And what is the female's name? I think it's um, Portia. Yes, Portia. So we'll get into that love undercover so i guess they love each other they're enemies probably a friend to enemies i would think um that they don't want people to know that they're in love or probably don't want each other to know that they love each other or whatever but anyway we'll get into it so i'm excited to read um this series and then i'll get the fourth book um love at christmas and so I'm excited about that because it's a Christmas book and it comes out December 14th. So I'll have that in the rotation too. And the last book that I want to get, this is an Oprah book club. I, I wanted to read it because I love the cover of it. And plus it goes with the other book that I um, have. And plus I had it on my bookshelf, not for very long, but like I have some of the other books, but anyway, it is a New York bestseller. It's by um, Anne Napolitano. I think I said the name right. Not sure, but here it is. That's a book. And it's an Oprah book club. Um, so I really wanted to, can love make a broken person whole? Wow. Can love make a broken person whole? I already love it already so we are going to get into this book um, I know that I read the inside of this before when I did the book haul so I'm not going to do it again but I will come back and tell y'all if I read all the books that I have so let's look at it again we're going to recap so right now i already read one book already and that is i think i might love you i am on black girls must die exhausted so i'm reading this right now but these are all the books that i have for so i hope that you enjoy this video as much as i enjoy putting this 10 to the end of 2020 for video together I'm excited about reading these books and getting really back into reading the love of reading I just needed to take a break being exhausted and all of that but your girl is back reading and I'm so excited because I'm really enjoying the book that I'm reading right now so y'all take care and I'll see y'all on my next bookish video bye